Today we're going to be looking at how to do an install of our reverse osmosis system. This one is motorized and uh, it'll all be under counter. So what comes in the box is your tap, uh, your piping, your connector, water source to come from it, your machine, all of your filters, your membrane, your coconut filter, and then the three that fit into your casings down below, and then your water tank. First thing you're going to do is you're going to be installing your uh, outlet pipe from your main water source. Uh, again, make sure that you do that correctly with your fittings, PTFE tape, or get a plumber to do it. Uh, if you can't do it yourself, you'll have to switch off your mains uh, when you do this install to connect it properly. If you don't have a cut-off switch there, then what you do is your roll of tape pipe will come, cut it to give yourself enough room to move it in and out of under the counter. Obviously hard working in there, just a little tip so you can bring it out, change the filters where necessary. Now this um, uh, pipe will fit in to the inlet here. So you actually will see there's a sticker that says it. These little stoppers, you take them out by depressing the, the ring. You'll see that just now. You'll depress it, then you push the pipe in. Once the pipe goes in nicely like that, I can't pull it out. Now you know it's nice and secure. Quickly, you'll find that you've got three um, filters. They are all wrapped in plastic. That means they are fresh. <laughs> Make sure you take the plastic off. Otherwise, you will have filters that can last you for 100 years, but your water won't change in its taste. So make sure you take the wrapping off your filters. Put them in the casing. Important, the, um, this one doesn't matter what uh, direction you put it in. That one goes first in your first inlet. Your second one you'll see inside the casing. These are already in the casing. Take the plastic off. It has an up sign. So make sure you install it correctly. If you install it upside down, this will block the flow of water and you'll think your system's not working. That's not true. Make sure you're inserting the filter correctly. So you unscrew it, drop it in like this, because it's now pointing up, tighten it. You've got a spanner, which you uh, use to tighten your um, casings. Don't over tighten, make sure they're nice and secure, uh, and uh, that'll be good. Then that is your uh, granular activated carbon, goes in the middle. And then on the last one, where you see it now will flow from there, is your a um, carbon uh, filter as well take the plastic off it also has an up so you go put this one in the right way so before you take the plastic off make sure you see up and then you put in the casing this way so then there we go tighten that up now what we're going to do is we're going to then take our next um, stopper off which is the yellow stopper and this one is to the tank in your box you'll see that there is a tap as well that fits on the top of the tank it fits in on the side uh, it's got a little blue cap, take the cap off, fit that in, and then that clips in to it. There again, nice and tight, firm, we're good to go. In here is your membrane, and uh, this has also got a direction flow. You'll see that on the packet, it's not always on the actual membrane, but you see on a packet it says flow that way. So this side will be on the, the side that you unscrew, which is there, and then fits in this way. Tighten it by hand, you've also got a spanner for that. We've connected our tank. What we do is, on in your box, you've also got a little connector for your outlet. And so that would go onto your pipe and uh, drill a hole through your pipe. There is a little flange that goes with it. It's a little black um, uh, one-sided tape. Stick it on, because this is just an outlet for some of your wastewater. And then what you do is, you connect it down the bottom here. Uh, and there is the outlet that says um, to waste. So you just connect that in there and then that will be sorted there. And then lastly, what you're gonna be doing is you're gonna be connecting your tap. Your tap obviously will go on top of your sink, drill a hole just enough to take the threaded bar through. You've got um, little flanges on either side with a nut at the bottom, tighten it up. Then what you do is you cut a piece of piping again, it'll go from your system under counter, that'll go in there. And what we do is we uh, tighten that in there. And then on this side, take this little blue flange off, or stopper, push it in again. If it can't come out, it's sealed correctly. Obviously, when all that's sorted, you switch on your mains, open up your tap here, and you should hear it fill up, a little bit of spluttering, open up, and then you've got clean water. Lastly, the motor. Very, very, very important. Do not put your electrics near the water source. Uh, make sure it's compliant, electrically safe, so that electrician would put it in uh, if you already don't have a plug point that's been installed properly by an uh, authorized installer, and then you plug your motor in. 